Hi there, I'm Tiffany from daisyfarmcrafts.com and today our little tutorial is going to be about this red cable sweater that I've made. Um, but I'm just popping on here to show you, you know, how to attach underneath the arms, how to get this first row of cables going, um, how I got the sleeve started and the collar. So I apologize that it's not a full tutorial for uh, maybe that you're used to. I just happen to not, I don't work that way. I have the written pattern on my website and this is just some video support. So I apologize to those of you who just see this on YouTube and don't go to my website, but that this is just a video that supports that pattern. So if you do want to make this sweater, that's the best way for you to do that. So all the counts and stitches will be over there. So anyway, it's really cute. This is a 12 month size and I have an 18 month size that I'm going to be giving you some tips for. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, after you've finished all of your increases, this is what you have, the first step that you need to do that often doesn't make sense. Now, this version is for the 18 month size and so I've added an extra row and that is one tip I will offer you is to, if you want to make it even, I think you could go to a 2T size and add two more rows. Um, that just adds more width through the shoulder. So what you want to do though, is if you have a hard time visualizing this, see we're gonna be stitching across and attaching right here in these corners. So, um, let me go ahead, I'm just gonna work my half double crochets to the first corner and then I will um, show you how, what to do next. Okay, I'm right over here to the corner and what you'll notice on this pattern, and it doesn't matter, is you, know, you just need to find that center space, whether it was on a corner where you work two in between, you know, two and then two, or whether it was all three in the middle. You just need to find that corner space. Um, so on this particular row that I've increased, it's got those two legs. So I'm gonna go into the middle of the two legs and I'm just going to work two half double crochet. I'm going to chain two and then I'm skipping over all of these stitches and I'm going to go find the other corner space and it doesn't even matter which way you fold this. Just make sure that you work two more into that space. And that is how you have just made a quick little sleeve. See, so you've created that. Plus, I like to put an extra little chain sometimes to, for a, um, just to add a little bit more bulk through, or space through the chest. And I'm doing that for, for this next size that I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm going to work in each stitch across just like we've been doing. I'm gonna get to the next corner work two half double crochet, chain two, bring that together, and then finish the round. And then our next round will start with the cables. So if you wanna push pause and, and work that, then I will show you the next line of how to get those cables going. Okay, so now you can kinda of see how this took shape. Right away we went from that square and now we've got our little armholes to um, to work through. Okay, so right away though, this is our first row of how we get the cables situated. And it's a series of the half double crochets, but when you get to the cables, you need to make double crochets. So the first um, little bit, you crochet in the first three stitches, you know, your regular half double crochets that have been worked in between. And in your next stitch, you, instead of um, working regular, just do a double crochet, like that. That's all we've got to do for this row. Now work two half double crochets, and then you're going to work four double crochets. That's for the twisting part of the cable. So we, need, we work these double crochets to get a little bit of height 
that because these become front post or back post double crochets on the next round. So we've got our four. Then we're going to work two regular half double crochets. And then let's do one more double crochet. And that's it for, for this front part of the sweater. Now I'm going to continue working all the way around the sweater. And let me get to the armhole and show you what I do when I get to the armholes. Um, just work, work, work your half double crochets into every one. You'll get here, that remember there's those two right there, so we're gonna work that one. And then we're going to work, I'm going to work just two around this chain. And we'll do the same for the other side. And now, just make sure you get onto the other side of that post. Sorry, my yarn is kind of balling up on me. Make sure you work in between these two don't want to miss a stitch and just keep going and do the same thing on that other armpit is um, you know just work and then just work two around those chains and um, I'm gonna work all the way down and then I'll get back and we'll do the counting together for this other front half Okay, I'm ready to do that. The get my double crochets ready for that cable section on this side of the of the sweater. And another easy way to make sure I'm kind of doing this in the right stitch is that I'll count backwards. So I know I had three half double crochets, and make sure you count as your first space the space between the chain and that stitch, since we're working in betweens. So that's one, two, three. Then I have two spaces of a half double crochet. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so one, two, three, my double crochet. Two regular, four of my double crochet, two more, and here's my first post that I'll be doing, the first front post double crochet. So I wanna get my double crochet there. Then I work two regular half double crochet now here's my four in a row. Four. And two more half double crochet. Now my last du single double crochet and now the last three to finish off. There's one. There's two, and my last one in between the chain, and there, that's how you'll make sure everything stays straight. Okay, it's up to you if you wanna chain one or chain two. I've been chaining one a little bit so that the there's no gaps. Completely up to you. Okay, here is our first row of cables. These ones are just going to be straight. So here's your first. Remember, we have three. That's what you're going to want to rem remember is that you start with three half double crochets because it will get confusing right here. This is your first double crochet. And instead of working over to the side of it, we need to yarn over and pop it towards us and work around it. But instead of going in your half double crochet right there, you need to continue to skip over, and not skip, but work to the left of the next half double crochet post. You can quickly add stitches if you go right next to the front post that you just made. So here's our four. So keep track that there's you know two in between each set, three in from the end. So here's our four. Those are called front post double crochet because I feel like you're popping them to the front. Now again, you're gonna want to go right, you're gonna think that's the next stitch, it's not, it's over here. 
and there will be two. And then you'll see that double crochet and you'll pop it forward. There you go. Now finish all the way around and go ahead and do the same thing on, on the other side of the sweater. And I will say just, you know, obviously just keep working. Now treat these as regular half double crochet. Just work to the left, work in between them. Okay, how'd you do? I've got my two sides done. This is what it should be looking like. All right now you've got your one and then your four and one over here. Okay, now we're gonna still do our posts that are straight when this isn't a twisting row yet. And so we will work those three half double crochets to bring us to that first post. But what I'm gonna show you on here is that we still want to keep the post popping forward. So we don't wanna pop it this way now. Now we're going to kind of, you kind of have to look over your fabric, the what you've created, and pop it out to the back. And what by that I mean, you know, yarn over, insert your hooks so that the post pops out towards the back. Pull through and then, oh, whoops, not a half double crochet, a double crochet. There we go. Now, again, don't get confused. Don't go into the space that is right next to that popped out post. Look to the next half double crochet and enter the over there. So it feels like you're skipping one, but you're really not. You're you're going into the right space and you'll need two and so it'll be really weird because this is kind of gapy but it's okay it it figures itself out that's what I want to say okay so now we're to the four looking over and I'll pop those you know towards the back get those double crochets going and this is what cable, kind of the technique that you use. And I've created just the simplest ones. These are beginner cables. So it's like when you're ready to actually, you know, learn a new skill. Okay, watch out for that. Danger, danger, go over here. Two of them. That's why I want you to, you know, keep that count. Know that you need two in between. And then here's your last one. You're almost home free, and you're home free. Now work all the way around the back and do the other side. And when those cables are facing you again, I'm going to show you how to get the twist. Okay, you did it, didn't you? Here we go. It's looking like this, and that your back side kind of looks like that. That's totally fine. Um, here we go. Let's do the twist row. So start off normally, three half double crochets. We're gonna work, pop that post towards us this time. That's why I like to do the crochets when, when, when you turn and the work faces you, when you do this twisting row, because it can get confusing. Here we are. So we have these four. What you're gonna do is yarn over your hook two times. This is called a treble crochet. And so two times, skip one, two, three, go all the way over here to this fourth one. Pop it forward, pull up a loop, work through two and two more, and I kind of pinch and bring the work together so it doesn't separate too much. And pull through the last two, sorry. I was checking my camera to make sure you could see my hands. Okay, now we're just gonna work backwards from there. The fourth one, now we're gonna go to the third one. And then the second one. And now the first one, and you can tell, you can see it's starting to twist over on you. So get that first one and you just kind of, you know, get it to twist. 
and get ready with your next half double crochet. And this is very, very important. Again, don't go into the space right next to that uh, popped, popped out cable that, you know, the first one we worked into. Come over here, get that, la that half double crochet over there. And that completes the twist. We've got our two half double crochets and then I'm gonna work that front post just like that. And you've just got your first twist. It is that easy. Isn't that great? So go around and do the other side and then I'm just gonna show you one other quick tip about working into these the next round. Okay, we've got our twists both sides done. So now I'm going to give you a little tip on the next row because this can be tricky too. Um, because we're just working regular, you know, back post double crochet. Sometimes, and you will go back to double crochet on this row. Okay, this is sometimes tricky. It is a giant space that that second stitch will go into. And so you're gonna wonder, is that where I go? Yes, it is. Okay, keep these, I just kind of like twist them with my finger back here so I know that this was the first, you know, so that they're lined up. Spread them out so you can see how to work them. So here's my first one and I'm just working them straight um, as I come to them. I'm not reaching over or anything. I, that's why I'm saying they've already twisted and now I'm working into them after they've been twisted each, you know, as I come upon them, one, two, three, four. So here's this one and it's kind of leaning on its side. If I go ahead and pick that up and now you do have that big hole, don't worry about it. The tension, it, it all seems to all work out. I just really want to make sure you go over to the left of it. Don't add a stitch. One, two, here's that single post. We still work, and then we work on down the sides. So that's it, and at this, it just, the tension starts to loosen up, it, it works, and then you've got your twist. Okay, you are on your own. I think you work three rows of the straight, and then you'll do a twist row. Three more rows, and then a twist. So I think what I'm gonna do next, though, before I go on, because I'm losing my daylight here, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I start the sleeve. Okay, so I've already counted and I have about, tw I have 25 stitches that make up the sleeve. That's how many I skipped over. Then, you know, I have the two that are around here on, on the chains that I added. And honestly, I kind of like the width of the sleeve with just these, so we'll see how this goes. This is how I kind of keep this number loose, but I pull up a, I pull up a loop, I chain, and then go ahead and half double crochet right into that space. That gives me a great place to, that's where I'll um, attach or slip stitch at the end of the round. Okay, so, but to cover this corner up, this is what I like to do. I like to insert my hook and pull up a loop and stop right there. Then I insert my hook kind of around this post that doesn't actually count as a stitch, but it's kind of giving the sweater width and I pull up a loop there. And then I'll work in between, or you know, just to the left and underneath, you know, because we're working in between that first stitch. And that will kind of count as my first stitch. So I've kind of gathered all of that corner together. Now I'll continue working all the way around, you know, making sure, that's why I'm saying you gotta make sure you're going against as if you just chained and turned. Um, you wanna do that so that your stitches, you know, the sleeve won't, it's hard to tell you even attached a sleeve. So keep working all the way around and then I will show you what I do at the end to um, slip stitch. Okay, so here I am at the bottom. I've already worked all the way around and I'm at that last stitch. And I'm gonna just mirror exactly what I did to start. So I kind of just put one leg of the half double crochet into that last space in between, pull up a loop, and then I go ahead, sorry, this is tricky to 
film this and hold this. I'll go ahead and do another leg around that post that doesn't really count. And then I've got one more around the chain space. And then I'll just pull through all of them. And it's kind of just like it fills in that, that corner space. And then I will slip stitch to that first half double crochet that I made. And that's how I like to, that's about the width of the sleeve that I like. Um, if I feel like it's still a little bit too wide, I might go ahead and, and skip over a stitch just this round. But what I'll do is I'll count and then I'll make sure I have that, that same amount each round. Um, and the reason why I'm being so general about it is because I know that a lot of you are going to want to make this sweater different sizes. So this number will always vary. It's usually somewhere between 23 stitches and about 27 is what I feel like you want. Maybe, th I mean, if you've gone really big, obviously, you know, you'll adjust to that. So, um, but that's what, that's basically the gist of how I design these. It's just, I, I mainly fill in the little extra space right there with some half double crochet togethers, and then I just start working around. So just whatever this number is, count it, remember it, write it down, because you'll want to do the same thing on the other sleeve. So I really hope that helps you get started. And then I just thought one more thing I want to show is just how simple it is to start the um, collar. Okay, a lot of people get confused on the collar. You just don't even need to. And um, I do the collar first before I do anything down the placket. All you're really going to do is, you know, pull up a loop in that front button or just that, that very first um, space. You're going to work in between again. Oh, and go ahead, and I like to work right in that first stitch. I think it looks nicer. Just go ahead and do the half double crochet. Work in between your half double crochets. And when you get to the corner, though, you'll all I do is that I'll work to the left of this one, and I will skip that corner one. So when the on the insides, I just skip over it, and that just nicely flattens out the collar. That's all you really need to know um, to make this collar. And then it's, I'm gonna show you completed. All it is is, you know, I think I did about three or four rows. And then, you know, for the finishing, you come back around. So it's just worked straight up out of the neck, and that's all you do. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like I did seven or eight rows. And then it just magically tucks down and you've got a little collar just like that. So um, the rest, I think you'll just want to follow the pattern for, you know, do however many rows. I did do some um, decreases right here to make the sleeve go in small. And uh, it, it's more, mainly I just did two half double crochets together every three stitches. Just reduce it down a little bit and it makes a cute little, um, you know, more for the wrist. But you can do all of that yourself. I attached a simple little button like that that just, you know, pokes through any hole. That's the beauty of these little buttons. I think I used it, I did it right here in that, in that collar space. Yeah, do that. Perfect. Leave yourself a little hole. Okay, I think that's it, you guys. I really hope this video is helpful. I am the worst at videos. You know this. It's the tech just kills me to try and get these uploaded. So wish me luck that they actually appear. And um, But please just follow along the written pattern too for any helps. And, and I would have to say this is a maybe advanced beginner thing. So if you're a brand new beginner... Um, start with some blankets or some scarves and then come back to this when you've really got your handle on how these stitches work. So, okay, all right. We will see you guys when we see you.